Political turmoil continues surrounding UK Prime Minister Liz Truss and doubts over her future seem to grow by the day. Truss herself insists she won't be stepping down. I'm completely committed to delivering for this country and that's why I'm in the job. And will you lead the Conservatives into the next general election? I will lead the Conservatives into the next general election. This is video from London this morning as members of the Trust Cabinet come out of Number 10 Downing Street after meeting with her this morning. Sworn in just over a month ago, Truss and her government have lurched from crisis to crisis. In the latest about face, her new finance minister has reversed all of the tax cuts that she promised on coming to power. That economic plan sent the British pound sinking to record lows, Royal UK markets triggered an extraordinary intervention by the Bank of England and forced Truss to fire her finance minister. Abby Kugathasen is on the story once more from London. Liz Truss, Abby, promising in that interview on the BBC to stay on as Prime Minister. What else did she say in that conversation? Heather, mere weeks after unveiling that disastrous mini budget and mere days after firing her staunchest supporter, Kwasi Kwarteng, for doing exactly what she asked him to do, the Prime Minister has now apologized. She said mistakes were made and she's sorry for them. Let's have a listen. Now, I recognize we have made mistakes. I'm sorry uh, for those mistakes, but I fixed the mistakes. I've appointed a new chancellor. Uh, we have restored economic stability and fiscal discipline. And what I now want to do is go on and deliver for the public. We were elected on the 2019 manifesto. I'm determined to deliver on that. Now, despite this apology, the UK papers not being very forgiving, painting the dire situation that Liz Truss finds herself in. The front page of the mirror at the bottom there reading humiliated. Another hunt takes charge as PM fears the exit and the Daily Mirror mail rather, which is a pro Tory paper. The front page there saying that she's in office, but not in power. Tory MPs were out this morning defending the prime minister. We saw Jacob Rees-Mogg as he arrived at 10 Downing saying that he fully supports Liz Truss. We also heard from the leader of the armed forces here in the UK, James Heapy. He said at least Liz Truss apologized quickly, unlike her predecessor, Boris Johnson. And he also acknowledged that her cabinet did not know just how terribly the mini budget would be received. And if you listen to mutinous Tory MPs, they will say, well, they knew and that economists knew and that her political rival in that leadership contest this past summer, Rishi Sunak, knew. And we also have to remember that when Liz Truss appointed the top cabinet positions, she didn't appoint any Rishi Sunak supporters. That only changed on Friday when she brought in Jeremy Hunt. And as we saw yesterday, Heather, he tore up her economic plans. He tore up that mini budget and everything that Liz Truss had promised now in ruins. You were right there outside 10 Downing when Truss forced out that first finance minister, her very close political ally. Now there are questions about whether she herself is going to be forced out. Some of her backbench calling for her to go. What is the latest from within the party and maybe within the British public to Abby? Heather, as of right now, about five MPs have publicly called for her to step down. And there is talk to internally and privately a Tory MP, Simon Hall, saying there's a lot of conversations going on right now, but they're not entirely sure what the party would do if they were able to oust trust. Now, there's, of course, plenty of options on the table, none of them perhaps very appealing to the party this hour. They're thinking about, you know, talking to Rishi Sunak, who she ran against in that leadership contest this past summer, or perhaps Penny Mordent, who came in third, or there's even talk now about going back to Boris Johnson, and it appears that most Tory party members, that's exactly what they want, even though he was pushed out of office this past summer. So plenty of options on the table, but again, none that the Tories are saying is a very appealing to them, and perhaps that's the only reason Liz Truss is still in office, Heather. Abby Kugadasen, thank you very much.